Well, I think you lose a little bit of your community soul, frankly. Why do people, uh, you know, like old cars? Why do people value things from uh, bygone days? I mean, I think that you need a representation of where we came from. And to not value that at all um, is a mistake. And there's one thing to talk about it, and there's another thing to step up and do something about it. Sandwich Mass in Jarvisville. We're going to be looking at the, the old house at One Harbor Street that I purchased with a good friend of mine, Rich Clater. And we're going to try to uh, put it back together again. The plan was to stand in front of the excavator that was going to demolish it and say, you can't do this. That was my excuse I gave to my wife. She said, what are you thinking? Why? I said, because I really don't want to see it demolished. That's what was the main thing. Say it's from the 1750s. It's the same, this is what was here. It just needs to be, needs to be finessed a little bit. But it, it hasn't been demolished and the walls haven't been taken out and they haven't. This is just, this is the building, exactly what it was. And when you see, see the room upstairs, you'll, and it's, it's classic. <laughs> it's a classic design. Passing through, I don't know what this is. This is just a delightful room. Look at it right here, right here, right now. We had a couch and a chair and blah, blah, blah. We could be comfortable and the sun's coming in. Look at the stairs. I don't know if you can, when you look at the stairs, it's just like, it's like so perfect. It's just like another perfect, perfect, perfect moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's just beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Alan McLennan, uh, I live in Orleans, uh, and I've been on this property since 1939. And about uh, 13 years ago, the property, which was in trust, uh, had to be sold. Losing this property was probably the most painful thing that I've experienced in my life. You know, you pass down to different generations, different people have had different experiences in that home. And so when the time comes to divide it up, you have these emotions working. And sometimes the piece that loses is the house itself because the person that buys it, more often than not, buys it for the location, not the building. And that's the thing we have to really watch for. We often have to speak up for, you know, the, the things and things and beings that can't speak for themselves. So. My name's David Whedon. I work for the Mashpee Wampanoag Tribe and the Tribe's Historic Preservation Office. Um, the building that we're in here is the Old Indian Meeting House. This building is really a critical part of the tribe and we're really proud of it. When, when telling the story, it's much better when you have a visual component. You know, you, you should cherish your history and learn your history and uh, you have to know where you came from. You have to, mom always said, you have to know your roots to know where you're going. Uh, if these walls could talk, you know, they'd have quite the story to tell as well. I mean, a contractor in a dumpster in six hours can destroy 300 years of history. I think our obligation is to educate people, get people to understand what they are losing. To be able to walk into a building and experience that wood in, the, in these beautiful old wide panel boards that you just don't see anymore because trees don't grow that big anymore. It puts you, it, it shortens history. It brings those people a lot closer. Very sturdy, I mean, look at the timbers that they used up here. Yeah, they took pride and they, uh, they built it to last in everything that we have today's throwaway. Man, this is incredible, the way it was built. Very seldom do I run into something, it, yes, it might be in terrible condition. It can be fixed, it can be saved, it can be re replaced and redone. You can't recreate history and, you know, over time, I'd love to see another 200 years that a bunch of these houses are still standing. You know, a lot of this, oh, well, it can't be, can't be saved, it's too, too far gone. I don't find that to be a, a strong argument. This is Cape Cod, I mean, we didn't come down to Cape Cod to 
have brand new houses everywhere. I mean, we could go to any coastal town for that type of effect, but the Cape is special. It has wonderful houses, and you're keeping the charm that everybody fell in love with. That's why you come to the Cape. What is seaborn dies on land, soft is trod upon. What is given burns the hand, and what is gone is gone. If they're gone, that's the end of it. I've seen time change Enough come and go I've carried heartache It's seeping through these walls So what do you intend to do? To hear the stories buried in these rooms I'm more than quiet halls lost in Protector 